Well, good morning. I want to talk to you a little bit about tying down a trike. I've been on Facebook for a long time when I'm not in jail, and even if I am in jail, I can read it. A lot of people always ask the same question. How do you tie down your trike or your bike? It doesn't matter. There is no proper way. There's only the way that makes your bike secure for you in reality. Uh, I've gone through trial and errors, but I wanted to show with you today how I do mine, okay? And uh, like I said, trial and error, and I'll talk to you about what I did wrong the first couple times and my trike bounced like a sucker and moved all over inside my trailer. Well, now I'm only using the four tie downs and a chalk and uh, she holds tight and we hit some really serious potholes and bounced around. So uh, we're gonna go inside my cargo trailer and show you that. Okay, as you can see, I'll hook it on each side of this, the hitch down here, cause I do have a hitch. Now I would say use your tire and then I run it down to my corners. And this is cross corner. So it kind of holds it back a little bit more, okay? So let's move to the front. That's the fun part. So in the front, I used to tie it to my handlebars. Let me get over here and see if I can show you. I used to strap it to my handlebars right here, down here, underneath my fairing, and then over to the chalk over there, the, the tie down. But the problem with that one was my trike would bounce and the shocks, because they give a little bit up and down, right? Your, hand, your handlebars bounce like so it would loosen up my straps. So what I did now is I got these new softy things right here. Oh, I lost my shoe, hold on. So what I did is I got these soft velvet ones so I don't scratch anything. I use a combiner uh, D-ring here to hold it on and I loop it through the hole of the cargo strap. And then I run it out here to that mess in the corner. And the same thing with the mess in that corner. And it goes back up the other way. So, Going down the road, she stayed right there. Now this chalk right here, it comes in and out. So what I did is I ran another line. We just got home, sorry about that, from Daytona. Run a line from here to there, to the floorboard. And over there, the trike sits in there and pushes against it. And it holds my tire pretty good. It wasn't originally what I wanted to do. I wanted to bolt it down and use it. But we use this as a camper, so that's why it's a mess right now because we just got home and in the door. But I just wanted to show you this a little bit and how a trike, I tie it down. And this is a 7x16 trailer. And I don't care what trailer it is. I just tie down the two bottom uh, forks straight down. I do not tie them up on my handlebars anymore and bring them down. And because, like I said, bouncing, going down the road on a trailer, it had a tendency to come free. So there you have it. That's how I tie down now. This is the second trip that I've done with this thing. And uh, let me get this thing straight. The trike has not moved at all. Now that's pretty good. Sorry for the bad video this morning a little bit, but we got home at midnight last night and uh, and then went to bed about 1.30 and it's now seven o'clock in the morning. So I gotta unload the trailer. I can't sleep. Once the sun gets up, I'm up. So anyway, that's how I tie down my trailer. And it worked for me. I hope it could work for you. Uh, if you're unsafe about it, you could put another strap around the, the chalk. Or you can put them on, do whatever you need to do across the seat on a motorcycle and stuff to hold it down. But whatever works for you is going to work. But this should help some of the people. Every time I see Facebook, they want to know how to do it. I'm going to post this so they can see how to do it. Ride safe, people. Have a good day. And we'll talk to you later.